The hunt is on tonight for a handful of teenage delinquents, the last of more than two dozen who broke out of a detention center last night in Nashville, Tennessee. Mark Strassman is in Nashville tonight with more about how it happened. Shortly before 11 last night, right after a shift change, officials say the teens kicked through a metal panel under a window and got outside. They pulled up a weak section of chain link fence and ran for a nearby highway. It apparently took unarmed guards an hour and a half to realize 30 teens had slipped off the property. This was a security breakdown. Uh, you know, clearly it didn't turn out the way we needed it to. Rob Johnson is the spokesman for the Tennessee Department of Children's Services, or DCS. What is your sense of whether this was a planned mass escape? I can't speculate. I think it's a reasonable question. Eight teens remain on the loose. Most of the facility's residents have at least three felony convictions. Overnight, at least three escapees were turned in by their families, but most were caught by police, who complained how long it took DCS to notify them of the mass escape. But DCS says it does not want cops with guns in a detention center for juveniles. We can't allow weapons on our facility, and the police, uh, I believe, are pretty, uh, feel pretty strongly about not coming in unarmed. This detention campus is set up more like a high school than a jail. It has locked dorms, but no guard towers, for instance. Charlie, DCS officials say they have re-inspected all the fencing, but have other questions about this security breakdown. Thanks, Mark.